and welcome to another YouTube video. In today's video, we're going to be discussing another section of the SEMrush tool known as Listing Management. So far, we've covered everything from Domain Analytics to Lead Generation tool. And in our previous video, we discussed the features that Lead Generation allows the user to enjoy. So we also reviewed uh, a very helpful app which has been introduced by SEMrush known as Opti located in the lead generation section which can be used to generate leads by specifying the demographics and also the industry and so many other useful metrics that you can leverage in order to get out the leads or generate leads according to your taste, your niche or just your basic requirements. So today we're going to be discussing listing management. Now before we begin Listing management deals with business listings and um, basically business directories. So what are business listings? Business listings are the sites where you advertise your business or just register your business at in order to establish its authenticity to let the users know that you're existing in a certain area and about the services that you're offering. It is similar to Google My Business but uh, the features can vary depending upon the sites and there are currently many many business listing sites or directories which are available online where you can register your business and you can make an account and you can list your business there to establish your business reputation and establish a brand image so it's a very useful uh, thing business listings and business directories can help you identify your targeted audience and help you establish a reputation which can be sought by your targeted audience to a reliable source because most of these sites are very reliable they're credible they're renowned and that is why if you list your business there it means that you're doing something really good and you're trying your best to reach out to the credible or very specific set of targeted audience so let's get started we're here in the listing management section so what listing management does is that uh, you uh, define certain definitions or certain uh, descriptions of your company of your business like your name your info your address any other things that you might need to add in order to uh, give information in, in order to inform your targeted audience properly and then you allow this tool to publish that listing on multiple sites so there are more than 80 or 100 sites uh, depending upon the area or the locality that you're choosing and you can formulate a draft of information that you want to communicate to your targeted audience and you can use this tool in order to manage them and publish them simultaneously so here we are in the overview section. It allows us to see that currently we have 81 directories, the total number of directories, where your business will be present after the process is complete. There are eight unavailable ones. One is processing, 50 connected, and 22 disconnected. Directory will no longer control your listing. That is related to disconnected. And by connected, we mean that your business is present in the directory and we have successfully linked the listing. Now the processing ones, Processing your listing, this may be one of the following operations, connecting to a business directory, opting in or opting out of your listing, and then there is unavailable. There was a problem with the directory for detailed information, see the listing table. So you see, instead of keeping track of each one of your business listings and not knowing what exactly is going on with them, you can use this tool to keep track of them to see which one of them are currently available and which of one of them are not and how many of them will not be available at all so you can optimize your strategy you can optimize the channels that you choose and you can optimize your own procedure in order to present your brand in a better way okay so apart from that you can add your location you can add your info and then we have the local reputation as well we have the recent review as well and you can see that there's a recent review here so the overview section allows you to see what information is being displayed currently and if you have any reviews or not then we're gonna go to locations and it's again the same section we have live listings we have processing and unavailable and then we have a total of these uh, fields that we need to fill 
So it says here that 23 out of 24 fields are filled. So that leaves only one field which has not been filled. So it allows you to see how much of your information is being displayed on other sites. We're going to move to duplicates then. So duplicates allows you to see whether you have any possible duplicate information on these networks or not. Possible duplicates, processing, suppressed, enable to suppress, and removed. So it allows you to understand uh, how your business things can be managed and whether there are any duplicates or not, if any of them have been removed or not. Then we're going to move on to user suggestions. Now, user suggestions, it is a on some directories, users can suggest changes to business listings if they think the information is incorrect. You can see these suggestions here and either approve or reject them. So this is a very useful manner to get customer feedback and to let yourself be evaluated by um, a very intellectual set of targeted audience who would like to give you suggestions about how you can represent your brand in a better way. And some people, some people might think that this is an negative thing to receive but if you are um, a fan of criticism constructive criticism to be specific you can use this information in order to grow in order to present yourself in a better way because after all you're doing all of this to reach out your targeted audience then we have the review section okay so in the review section you can see whether you have any reviews on your listings or not and what people are saying and you can see the overall uh, direction uh, that your business is taking on these business listing sites. So, so far we have good reviews, we have really good reviews and we have really good ratings. So you can keep track of your reviews from here as well. So business listings are usually considered to be very difficult and it's really hard to keep track of them. So you can use this in order to um, fill out the fields that you want to, to inform your targeted audience in a better way. And then you can implement all of those changes simultaneously on multiple sites. And it will allow you to see how many of your listings are active or not, and how many of them are unavailable. And you can also see the reviews that you're getting on your business. So this is a very useful tool and you can use this to keep track of your business listings management.